this area is known as Q Town, and um, for three weeks now, there was no garbage collector came in. The truck didn't came in to um, pick up any garbage, and you can look and see that um, the garbage is piled up here for three weeks, all the way down the road. Parker, who is concerned about the amount of garbage piling up, showed news for the large amount of garbage piled in front of his store in Q-Town. He, along with other residents in the area, are not just concerned with the unpleasant sight of the trash, but also with the health concerns it may present as well. The flies start, start getting towards the garbage, and also with blowing now and going into people's homes. So I don't know exactly who to complain to, um, in government, so um, I decided to get the media to come down and see if we could get some attention of um, this garbage situation. Parker states that it is not just the Q-Town area that he is concerned about. It's also in Blue Hills, where I live. Um, there's no truck coming picking up garbage and I, I don't know really exactly what's happening. So okay. somebody got to do something. News 4 contacted the Environmental Health Department about the matter and according to them, they are the ones responsible for collecting the garbage in those areas and other areas as well. Representatives admitted that this is a huge problem they are dealing with ever since they ended their contract with Turks and Caicos Waste Management to take waste collecting into their own hands. Their contracts were um, discontinued they, um, effectively the 1st of February of this year. However, we are trying to see what we can do to sort this problem out with the garbage collection. With just one government garbage truck working on schedule to over 20 different areas in Providencialis, trash collection is falling behind. And according to Neely, the public can only have patience, as right now no promises as to exactly when garbage is picked up can be made by the health department. If we can get, to get back into the community, which we tried to do last week, we were in Blue Hills for two days last week, and it was just like we were not there. We were in Q-Town um, for two days as well. Same thing with five keys. We were there for two days. And <clears throat> because of the amount of garbage that was backed up, and that is backed up, um, we are not guaranteeing everyone that we will touch you. We can, I can't make that promise. Until then, the department urges the public to practice proper waste disposal until their garbage can be collected. We also have our vector control offices out in the field, um, going door to door and speaking with residents as well, telling them how to store their garbage, which is to put it in garbage bags, put it in a garbage bin with a tight fitted cover so that um, water cannot get into it, animals such as uh, stray dogs cannot um, turn it over and get into the garbage. Okay. So the residents also have a part to play in storing their garbage on their property. Following is the schedule for garbage pickup. However, once again, the department stresses that some areas have too much backed up garbage to be collected in one day and will take more time. Monday, the Bight, Grace Bay, Leeward Highway, Juba Sound, Venetian Road, and Government School areas. Tuesday, Five Keys, Government Buildings, and Downtown areas. Wednesday, Blue Hills, Millennium Highway, Blue Mountain, Thompson Cove, Government School areas. Thursday, Q-Town, Airport Road, Long Bay, Leeward, Turtle Cove areas. And Friday, the Bight, Glass Shack, Discovery Bay, Cherokee Road, Cooper Jack, and Government School areas. Neely stated that the department is actively working on a solution to the problem. We are working on solutions to the problem. We are in talks with um, other contractors, private contractors. Um, we also are looking to purchasing our own vehicles as well. So um, don't think that is just something that happened and that we are not doing anything to try to come back the problem. We are working on it. Myself and my director have been um, working for the last two weeks trying to figure a way out how we can deal with this problem.